What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Six of eight in the Vintage Cube Q. The Vintage Q. Buh. And now... Now we're doing it. I gotta reset this sub goal. There's like two for today so far, so... You know what? I'm gonna get rid of them. They're gonna, they're gonna be gone. Reset it. It's all gone. Or it will be once I... Once I refresh... We're probably taking Telerian Academy here. There. Everything's gone. I think it's Telerian Academy. Ape, Dinosaur, Turtle. Totally normal. Yeah, Telerian Academy is easily the strongest card in this pack. So I'm going to put it down here. Put it down here where the cards go. I like a Fast Bond. Sort of. I like a Coalition Relic, which also goes very well with Telerian Academy. Could take a Mox Opal. I was wondering where I had heard about Estes Park before. It is a one-hour drive away from me. Yeah, it's very cl It's it's. I'm in Fort Collins, and it was like, it's like three hours from us. I like that you spelled Palantir, T-I-E-R. More like Palantir 1, am I right? <laughs> uh, Mox Opal. Coal I think Coalition Relic is the safer pick. Mox Opal might even table. I'm going to take the Relic. If we don't end up playing Clarion Academy, like I think Coalition Relic is just a better card to have. So. Ooh, we got Balance. Pest Infestation. Guardian Scale Lord, Thoughtseize, a Braid, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> okay. Okay. Love your mail time and cube talk videos. Really appreciate it. Thank you for saying so. I mean, it's funny because they get significantly fewer views than my... Um, like actual gameplay videos, which is weird because I feel like gameplay videos are less popular than commentary videos that are much shorter. So I don't know. I don't really understand best practices here. I think we're just taking Pest Infestation. It's extremely strong. I do like a Fractured Identity here. Frantic Search is something. There's no real artifacts here. However, we can take Fractured and be Bant and hope this Sparrow's Headquarters come back. Or even Temple Garden would be good. Yeah, I like a Fractured Identity. That's a that's a solid gentleman. Then there's nothing here. Let's, there's a Titania. That's tempting. If we can get, like, the Titania pieces. I'm keep trying, I'm keep trying to make Titania happen. But again, like, there's nothing really here. We're not going to take any of these. Spell Seeker is interesting, especially because it can get Pest Infestation. But I just don't care. I'm going to take Titania. I'm just going to take the Titania. So I love Frozen Coke at McDonald's. It's like one of my favorite beverages and my be beverage treats. But like it does this thing, like all frosty, like all icy drinks do, where like it separates the frozen part and the melted part get, gets separated. And it's really frustrating. Oh, Magic Marker Studio. I really appreciate that as well. I've been having a blast doing those. Yeah, I'm going to try to do, I think there's probably going to be two more parts. I'll probably do like a green and artifacts, then multicolor and lands. So I'm trying to mix it right now. Okay. Um, yeah, this is not really a super exciting pack. Regrowth is... Regrowth's decent. I mean, if we regrowth a Fractured Identity or a Pest Infestation or, like, if we get a Time Walker Ancestral, it's pretty good. <sighs> Telerian Academy deck is really not coming together here. Michael has a self-mixing cup. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, nope, it's not really mixing here. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know the the physics behind frozen icy beverages. 
Like I always feel like I can just mix the the icy part with the non icy part, and then the non icy part will be integrated into the icy part, and that that feels like scientifically that would work for me. I'm a scientist, and that makes a lot of sense to my scientific brain. You know, I don't I don't think it works that way though. Augur is good. Phantasmal image might be better. You're going all side to side. I'm trying to like, yeah, but I'm going, I'm going up to down and I'm going like in a downward spiral. Uh, not an intentional nine inch nails reference. I'm going to take auger because it's better with lands and we are heavier green at this particular juncture. Well, we don't really have a great opposition deck so far. I do like Kinnon. We have Coalition Relic. We could probably get other things. Green Sun Zenith is another Titania. I think Green Sun Zenith might be a little stronger. Boy, this is an interesting deck that we've kind of Talarian academy into here. None of these cards are super exciting. I guess we can just take Cigar. Like, I don't want another 5 drop. I think we'll just take Cigarda because it goes with the other cards. Oh, Drug of Tree Speaker is interesting. So is Touch the Spirit Realm? Hmm. No, it's got to be Tree Speaker. I do love a Guardian Scale Lord. That might be worth taking as another 5 drop. None of these other cards are exciting. I'm putting these white cards in. Oh, the Temple Garden. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, so look, we're still just we're still where we're at. Where it might even be worse now. See, if you go up and down though, the only part you're pushing down is the part in the straw's diameter. Like that's there's not a lot. Anyway, I'll try to enjoy it like a normal person instead of being a analytical weirdo here. It's unlikely, but I'm going to give it a shot. So, oh, Oath of Druids. I took Oath out of my cube. I really wanted it to be good, and I felt like you could have cool Oath uh, decks, but they're just so uncommon. I would like one of those magnet stirring cups to keep my chalky milk nice and consistent. Is your chocolate milk inconsistent? That sounds sad if so. All right, you're out. You're out for now. I'll put the cigar and the scale lord in. Chalky dregs. Not if you do it right. You guys need to get your stirring technique better. Oh, we got a flash. Oh, and a world spine worm. What if we take flash and hope this world spine worm tables? Because there's nothing else really exciting in this pack for the green, blue, or white deck that we're trying to be. Yeah, we're going to take flash and we're going to just try to make that happen. Yeah. And, and, and like, the odds are decent that the world spine worm does come back. Oh, Christ. Um. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I'm fucking laughing at this meme Michael sent, but I don't know why. <sighs> it could just be Snapcaster Mage. Could be waterlogged grove. Waterlogged grove does go with Titania, but Snapcaster, like if we get an ancestral or flash, and we already have a regrowth, yeah, I'm gonna take the grove here. I think it's a little more important to have good mana. Oh, there's a Ramu nap. That's interesting. I think it's more interesting than a lot of these. Like I could see taking a Seeker's Chariot or Suspicious Stowaway here or Solitude. I don't think I want a double white card. 
I think I do want Ramunap. We have a Grove so far, and if we we can we can prioritize fetches and like Wasteland or Strip Mine. And like with Titania, I think that's pretty good. Well, there's a Tundra. That seems like an easy pick. Our deck is kind of all over the place, but I do like the cards that are in it right now. I like Pest Infestation, Guardian Scale Lord, Titania, Fracture Identity. I like Regrowth and Flash. So I think we can make something out of this. There's a Zurin Orb. Oh, and a Trop. Oh, I think we got to take Zurin Orb with Titania and Remunap. That's just the way to go. Oh, man, I really wanted that Trop, though. That's, I mean, we only have two blue cards right now, and we have Coalition Relic, Waterlogged Grove, and Tundra. So I think we're probably okay. Oh, good old Assy Merengue. <laughs> A classic. Uh, or is it Merengue? Anything good here? The exact opposite hierarchy that we'd like. Could take Horizon Canopy. It's another land that makes a, a Titania creature. I don't know how many lands we want that, that deal us damage, though. We could just take Jitte. But we're not a heavy creature deck thus far. I think it's just Council's Judgment. I think Council's Judgment is really, really good. And, like, if we're going to lean into a double color card, I think that's a fine one to do it. Oh, I like a Garrick. I could take Colonnade. We already have Tundra, and I think we just want heavier green lands. I think I think Garrick's probably correct here. I mean, if it's Garrick or Elspeth, we're going to go with Garrick for mana considerations. We're also... Oh, Triplicate Titan. We have Flash. That's pretty good. All right. Well, 16 plus 7, that's 23. So I think this next pack... Um... I think we have what is it? Was it the what, did we first pick Flash? I think we did. So this would be the pack that had the World Spine Worm, or doesn't have the World Spine Worm. We shall see. Are you guys doing wrestling talk? Because that's pretty funny. Yeah, boy, <laughs> that's the guy you want. That's the guy you want. Boy, oh boy. I also set up my PlayStation uh, with my computer so that I can stream Spider-Man 2 when it comes out soon. We are, but the real point was that the guy's first name was Assy. Yeah, that's always the the real point, I think. Are any of these cards good? Overf Overflowing Chalice is fine, I guess. Spider-Man's not a super dexterity game, really. I like platformers. Um, I don't think it's Worm Coil. I'm just going to take Chalice. There's nothing in this pack for us. Oh, Suspicious Stowaway came back? That's exciting. Oh, I like an Elder Gargaroth. I also don't mind a Golos. I think it's early enough to take Golos that we can actually get other lands for it. Oh, wow. Horizon Canopy came back. That's exciting. All right. Well, I think we're looking good. Excavator, Zerno. We don't get, we don't get Fast Bond, unfortunately, because that was in pack one. And we took, I think we took Academy over it, didn't we? Oh, Mox Ruby. Okay. Also a Traxa. Hmm. That is fascinating. I do wish the Mox Ruby was on color. I mean, we had, if, in terms of opening Moxes, we had a 60% chance that it would be on color. And we just didn't hit, you know? Is it worth an off-color Mox in our... An off-color Mox in our three-color deck? 
Or is something like Talisman just better? Or like Hex Drinker or Atraxa? I, I got in a discussion with someone in the in the comments the other day about how Atraxa is really good with Flash, and I just don't, I actually don't think so. I mean, a, in a deck like this, you're typically going to hit Creature, Instant or Sorcery, perhaps, Planeswalker, and Land. Those are going to be the four most common types of cards you're going to hit. So you're basically paying Flash and Atraxa, two cards in your hand, to hit four cards. So it's basically like Factor Fiction. You're spending two cards to get four cards. And I just don't think that's worth it. I think you actually do want the 7-7 seven, seven body. I'm going to take the Mox. It just feels correct. But, like, if you have Natural Order, I think it's a completely different story. I think it tracks as MVP. But I think, like, there's a lot to be said about not getting the 7-7. Seven, seven. I mean, you're basically netting two cards, right? It's like compulsive research. I pay three mana. I draw th three cards and I discard one card. So I, I've net two cards. Like, I don't know. That don't impress me much. Yeah, I, I agree. Where are the fetch lands? This is an island and a plains. We already have tundra, but it might be nice to just have another one. Crop rotation is also interesting if we happen to have both Dark Depths and Thespian Stage in this pack. I think we're just taking Arbor Elf here. Oh, Breeding Pool. I do like a Breeding Pool here. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just Breeding Pool. Nothing else is super exciting, and I'd like to have a green-blue land to search for with all our fetch lands. Just not, not you. Not you, though. Let's take Treachery. I hope Night of Night of Autumn comes back, but I won't hold my breath. There's a sneak attack. All these like all these like big role players are going really really late. I think it's just Talisman here. Oh, Arid Mace is fine. We can now we have a we have a Tundra that we can get and a Temple Garden, so it's actually all of our colors. Yeah, let's do that. We can also play an Omnath off of our. Uh, Mox Ruby. Also, Mox Ruby is decent because we have Golos, so it's not it's not terrible. Also, here's here's Freddy for you. Small fellow. He's actually pretty sizable. He's a good gentleman. He's a wholesome lad. Sizable fella. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, correction. Neon Tokyo with the 10 gifted subs. Oh my god. You are a saint. You are a saint among men. Thank you. Unbelievable. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, there's a Tinker. Actually, do I hate Tinker when we have Zoranorb, Talisman, Mox Ruby, and we also have Triplicate Titan and Golos to get? I don't think I hate Tinker here. Thank you. Yeah, let's take a Tinker. Let's take a little Stinker. There's a Stoneforge, and we did pass a... Thank you. A Cauldra Complete. I'm going to take Stoneforge. We don't need any more cards. I think our deck is pretty well done. But if Cauldra Complete comes back, I will definitely take that. Another On Color Talisman. That's pretty decent. All right, actually, we can take out Chalice now because the two Talismans are just better than that. Thank you. And also, it's a better card for our uh, for our, for our little stinker. Oh, actually, but but Everflowing Chalice is nice because you can just play it Thank for you. zero on and like and like tinker into it. Thank you. I wonder if Green Sun Zenith. Actually, Green Sun Zenith seems pretty bad here. Like, we can only get... I don't actually care about Sigarda either. I don't think Sigarda is good enough for, Thank for the cube, to be honest. Oh, special. So, Ashen Rider just kills two permanents. 
What does crop rotation do, though? Nothing? I'll just take the Ashen Rider. Jeez. Urza? That is a late Urza. I think we're just taking Urza here. We don't have any Basalt Monolith combos, right? We don't have Kinnon or Zerda. Yeah, or that's, a, that's an insanely alert. Okay, Knight of Autumn, sure. Oh, no, there's a Zerda, so someone's getting the combo. Also, Steel, uh, Sphinx of the Steel Wind was in there that we can get with Tinker. That don't impress me much. Oh, an Omnath. That's a late Omnath. Razor Verge Thicket? I'll take a last pick Razor Verge Thicket for sure. Wow, this is... We got a bunch of well, wealth of riches for the end there. I think we cut regrowth. It's not as good without the, um, you know, without the without the good stuff to get back. So green sun. I don't think we're. I don't think I care about Sigarda. Like casting angels and humans like that. I I like to put cards in my cube that have the most possible relevant lines of text. That's why I thought Sviellen was was weird because like it has like oh other Merfolk get Ward One and you know if you control two other Merfolk it gets Hexproof or something like that and like those are never going to be relevant so you really have to evaluate the card as like a three four for three that draws you a card when it attacks which is good it's very good but it's weird because those other things just don't do anything so like a card like this it's like. Looking at the top card is fine, but it's not. It's it's less relevant when you're when you can't actually cast that many angels or humans from the top. Like it's just a four four for four flyer. Hmm. So Stoneforge, we did not get the Cauldre complete. I'm tempted to take out Judgment because it's one of the only double white cards we have. What's our white fixing? We have Tundra, Temple Garden, Razor Verge, Horizon, and Arid Mesa. So it's one, two, three, four, five. It's four, five? Yeah, it's five. Plus Talisman of Unity, which is six. Coalition Relic, which is seven. At least one Plains, probably. I mean, I can see, honestly, cutting Golos. Because we don't really have an efficient way to get black. I mean, it's just a Telerian Academy deck. Like, we have Zuranorb, Talisman, Talisman, Relic, Mox. Like, in the early game. Urza makes a guy. I don't think we're playing Omnath. However, I could see it if we're playing Green Sun. Cards I'm considering cutting. These three are on the high list. We do have World Spine Warman, Triplicate Titan for, for Flash, which is very nice. And is this a Guardian Scale Lord deck? This seems like a not a great Guardian Scale Lord deck. There's not a ton we can get back. Is Guardian Scale Lord non-land? Non-land. Yeah, that's even worse. Like, Sun Titan gets lands back, so... That seems like an easy cut. We do have Coalition Relic for... Golos. So it's not impossible. But there's also a lot of X spells we can hit. There's Pest Infestation. There's Flash, which is just not great. I feel like we can cut Golos. I also kind of want to put an Everflowing Chalice. I think we cut Golos, leave Green Sun in. And I kind of do want Everflowing Chalice here. Is that weird? I don't know. Maybe. Prismatic Ending is also... Prismatic Ending might be better than Council's Judgment. Just easy mana requirement. Maybe. This is 23. I could just play it like this with no Everflowing Chalice. I think this is probably correct. This is what we're going to go with. I think this is this is interesting enough. Oh, oh, you think you're special? I mean, our mana base supports the three colors of Omnath, and then we have Mox Ruby and uh, Coalition Relic and Green Sun for the red. So I think that's probably fine. 
Okay, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten green. Two, three, four, five, six, seven blue. Presuming we have an artifact for Talarian Academy. And white we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And that includes... Yeah, that includes Talisman. Oh, we get one more one more land. That's nice. I love it when they just underestimate. <laughs> and so then you're like really satisfied with the numbers and then you still get to add one. That's, that's kind of nice. Uh, double blue, double blue, early blue. I think we're just adding another blue. Because I'd rather have Urza mana and Treachery mana and I don't want to rely on Talarian Academy. So yeah, fingers crossed. Oh, hold on, hold up. I want to. I do want to take a screenshot of this because there's both lands we can search for and creatures we can search for. You get over here. I wonder if Magic Online sees X as ten, which is why they always go nine X spells and then cards that cost more than ten. I really wonder if it's if it's interpreting the X as a Roman numeral. All right. Oh, is it 41 cards? What the hell? Oh, it's 17 lands. Okay, because we had we had Mox Ruby. Wait, wait, wait. It was at 39 cards, and I added one island, right? What did I... Did it add a forest? It added a forest instead of an island. Or it added a forest automatically, and then when I added an island... And then it was adding two lands instead of one. Bummer. Good catch. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. See, that's just something I wouldn't have noticed. Because, like, if I go to add lands, I don't assume that you're going to automatically put them in there. And I have to look at every single color to make sure it's not, like, sneaking in lands. Oh, man. Kind of glad Super Fritz isn't here. Else he'd be really upset that I wasn't playing this Golos. It's like not playing Thrag Tusk when Katie's watching, you know? I think Thrag Tusk was actually cut from the cube as well, though. They put that little Rhino Man in instead. <laughs> oh, dear. This is... This is your little, uh... Do you also post some videos on... I post all my videos on YouTube. Please, if you guys haven't done so and you're watching this either on YouTube or on Twitch, go to my YouTube and subscribe. I'm having a hell of a time with gaining subscribers on YouTube. I've been stagnant for like five years and it's really frustrating and I don't know what to do and I worry that YouTube is broken in some capacity. So go over there and give me a sub... I don't upload twice a day anymore, but I do upload at least three times a week. So go to YouTube, do the subs, check it out, help your boy, do him a big solid. Oh, I like next turn going, uh, update this guy, update, <laughs> let's update it. Hold on, there's a firmware update for a tree speaker. If, if someone, I mean, it doesn't matter, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, it, the act of subbing isn't isn't the, the thing. It's the act of having the subs, you know? Because, like, the more subs you have, the more um, the more people your videos are going to get recommended to who have similar tastes. Like, the more reach you have. It's all... It all propagates. Oh, wow, you're going to touch the spiral on my little, my little tree speaker? I... I cannot believe you've done this. <laughs> oh my god that's so funny dude like i've been i've been making content definitely since freshly brewed that's it's that's been a while there's no way to knight of autumn this and also pump it right like we put a fourth mana down and we have one left 
Like, I feel like it's just coalition relic here. And then we can drop our Talarian Academy. And next turn we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So if they play a big fat beefy guy, we can treachery it. That's kind of cool. Walking Ballista for two. That is not a thing I really care about. Oh, but that is a thing. Oh, is something special. So you think you're Brad Pitt, huh? That don't impress me much. Gonna take her. I'm not doing any podcasts. I unfortunately. Um, I became a father, etc. Two jobs, not always time for MDG. Totally understandable. Totally, totally understandable. I think we're just gonna tinker. One, two. Wait, what? Oh, yes, that's correct. Big stinker. We're gonna tinker. Uh, tinker. That big stinker. I think we just take out their talisman. That feels correct. I mean, they can kill this guy, but that's fine. I ain't super... I ain't... That don't impress me much. Man, I should have that don't impress me much on the soundboard. Okay, that's fine. All right, and... Yield until the end step. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. You're just playing all of the... What does impress me much? We don't know. Oh my god, Katie picking all the cards would be a blast. I would definitely do that. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. What can we get? Uh, we can get Titania, but that doesn't really have a ton of synergies here. We can get Omnath. You like that I just played my forest even though I was going to talk about getting Omnath? Um, I think I just wanted to maximize. See, my brain went so fast I wanted to maximize the number of cards I can get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can get Titania. We don't have any way to sacrifice lands though. So is Omnath just better here? I don't know. We do not have Sigarda. We did not play her. I don't think she's I don't think she's great. <sighs> if we can get sixteen mana, we can go get our world spine worm. Hmm. I do feel like it's Omnath, and I'm just regretting having played the land, I guess. It's only four life. It's not a huge deal. He does draw us a card. Yeah, it's got to be Omnath, right? One, two, three. Yeah, we would have had exactly enough. That's, that's, that's silly. Arid Mesa. <laughs> oh, Lord. He's good at this game. So good at this game. Uh, I don't want to treachery either of these creatures. These guys are not good. I don't care about Hangerback Walker. I'd much rather save treachery in case they steal this guy somehow, and then I can steal it back. 
like protecting our triplicate titan is really our our path to victory okay we just won the game so is it go away uh first one's four second one is mana third one is four damage to each opponent and each planeswalker that we don't control okay yeah i just didn't see anything i really cared about against like they just had a bunch of they've had a bunch of artifacts but all our artifact answers are already in here i'm very tempted to put in prismatic ending because it just gets rid of hanger back and walking ballista and it exiles them both also flicker wisp does that oh this is this is this is a hand all right we'll keep this this guy is it would be nice to tinker this but we already have we also have flash so i'm not super concerned we don't have golos anymore so actually that is a, a worse tinker mana vault you're gonna activate it right now to cast like coalition relic they are not all right we can just cast this guy too just get nine no big deal <coughs> so also this is one two three four five untapped two is seven eight nine we got the mana it's all here man wow that's pretty good give me a way to kill that that's not a way to kill that That's a lot of mana they got here. A lot of mana. Don't think we want to do anything with this. Do we just level this up again? Maybe we just attack. I'll attack. Last thing I want to do is get him to one life and then not be able to close the deal, you know? Sure. Cycle that triome. <laughs> Cast Ancestral Recall. You got it. <laughs> Quality. Quality. Bolus is Citadel in the garbage. That's pretty good. Third deck is doing a bunch of different things than they did the first game. We did not see Workshop, Mana Vault, Ancestral, or Emery. Or Bolus is Citadel, so we're seeing the other half of their deck. Oust. Fantastic. Urza. I want double blue, and I want double green, so I'm playing this now. Well, they don't have triple black for this, right? You still have to be able to cast it. Yeah. I guess they can cast Thran Dynamo and make a million, but... Oh, they're just going to untap that deal so we got here one two three four five six seven We're not too far off yep there's the thran dynamo that we presumed they would play pest infestation one time oh yeah oust solid <laughs> so how much do we have one two three four five we do have seven we can play all the things so that's good play a blue one two three four if we untap two green let's go urza untap these play you All right, that's a lot of mana. Okay. 
but they have a lot of mana as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 mana. If they, they can't hard cast Emrakul because of Misha's workshop. They have three cards and a lot of mana. A lot of colorless mana. They have no artifacts in the graveyard for Emery. Are they just passing? Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can just cast triplicate Titan. Are we assuming they have a counter spell? Maybe. Is there anything we can do about that? No. One, two. Two, three, four, five. Oh, it just resolved. Well, I don't really want to attack because they can activate Colonnade here very easily. One, two... Eh, we'll just pass. They didn't do anything. I don't understand. Alright, maybe they just have two lands and an irrelevant card? Okie dokie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen normal mana, sixteen artifact mana, and they just had four cards and did nothing. Alright. Hard cast and triplicate titans here, I guess. <laughs> That's how you do it. All right, is this hand good? I don't think so, but I mean, with two talismans and a mox and a Draga Tree Speaker and an Arbor Elf, I feel like we can get a little more explosive than Urza on turn four. No artifacts for this. Yeah, we're going to mulligan this hand. I like that. Let's ship a planes. Come on, mox ruby off the top. Not Storm. Makes sense. That was not a Mox Ruby off the top. Freddy is not amused. What are we working with today? Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering cards. Um, let's go Tundra into Suspicious Stowaway. I feel like they might kill this, and that's kind of fine. You're sacrificing this guy. I'm at the point where I can effectively shake this. It's low enough. Oh, they just abraded it. All right. Well, whatever works for you, my dude. Why doesn't it have haste? I'd love to play this, but I think we just have to play Augur here. That just seems like better mana value. <clears throat> Plus, they can't kill this with Blood Token, and they can kill this with Blood Token. Wow, Fatal Push and Croxa. 
How did Croxy get here? Oh, they discarded it too. This is all very interesting. Well, this guy's safe at least, you know? So that's good. We're using the term safe loosely. Sure. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm tempted to just make four pests here. I feel like that's pretty decent against them with two cards. Uh, done. The fact that you can cast this without having targets is just phenomenal. Oh, we're definitely going to treachery their Croxa when that guy comes out. 100%. That is the goal. And as a black-red deck, I assume they might not have tremendous ways to uh, deal with treachery. Yeah, they really just keep having it. That's fantastic. Guess I'll take seven. <laughs> God. Oh. So this is fucking frustrating because I guess we can treachery this guy. Um, we take two, so we go to six. This guy still attacks us because we can't block. And then they just cast Croxa. Oh, boy. I mean, honestly, if we take this guy instead, we only take one. We take one more damage, but then we don't take the two. <clears throat> and it still blocks just the same. I mean, maybe that's better. Oh, we have Tinker and Flash, so. Do you want to go to three, or do you want to take this and go to four? Because then, if they have an answer for this guy, we're dead. But I guess if we go to if we go to three, like if they have an answer for this guy, we're dead. So it doesn't really matter. Any card that goes to the graveyard. Also, if they kill their own guy, then they can just Croxa, and we're just dead. I think it's got to be the bigger guy. Yep. Man, my kingdom for not a nine drop here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, well. Once well, we go fetch land Crocs, so we have to discard triple good Titan. I guess that's fine, but bringing back Crocs is not fine. Chain lightning. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. <laughs> All right. Well, there's a tinker. Fantastic. Sweet order to draw those cards in. All right. That was fantastic. Let's bring some more creatures in. Man, like I feel like our deck is fine. We just drew cards in the wrong order, unfortunately. <sighs> Prismatic ending could be fine. Croxa costs two, actually. So if they actually get Crocs out, it's pretty decent. We can probably never kill Shieldred. I guess we could, right? Because it's it's a total. Is it no? It's total colors of mana you've spent casting it, right? It's all equal to it's less than or equals the number of colors of mana. Yeah, so like, I mean, we'd have to have Mox Ruby or Coalition Rail count. That's still an answer. <clears throat> I don't think Excavator is doing much for us here, but I guess it's a it's still a body. Hmm. 
Hmm. Pest infestation can probably come out. We didn't really see many targets for it. <clears throat> Just going to submit like this and assume we can draw a flash here, right? Like that seems correct. Just hit a flash. No big deal. And a blue source. All right. Well, I totally accept that this hand is a little sus, especially with these guys in the hand. But if we have flash, we're doing good. They mold to five as well. So, you know, stars are aligning, you know? <laughs> okay. All right, we're doing it. It's happening. I'm already, I'm willing it into existence. That was a good will into existence. Flash it up. Horizon Canopy. Blue. Uh, blue, blue. Ren. Urza. Canopy. Excavator. That's actually pretty good with Horizon Canopy. <clears throat> Fire Covenant for seven. Kill both of your guys. So I feel like there's very few situations where Fire Covenant is better than Toxic Deluge. In fact, I can't think of any, but I'm just assuming there might be one. Oh, wow, this is interesting. Okay, World Spine Warden Forest is totally fine when I have Remy Nap. <clears throat> is it an instant? I don't think it is. Oh, it is an instant. Wow. Wild. Oh, it is better when you have your own creatures. That's a that's a fair point. Uh green. Uh cancel. I mean, we're really trying to flash here, you know? Get busy flashing is what I always say. Uh, tap. Man, where's the... Um... <clears throat> Why do you... Ah, of course. Never fails. Unfucking believable. <laughs> okay, okay. I I have no idea why you have this in your deck. I'm flabbergasted when you have like a bunch of creatures in your deck. Like uh. Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, we have a good time. There you go. Just Bone Crusher me. They have two cards. Can we get a flash? Tundra? It's like a flash, you know? One. What is this? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. We're very close. Shut up and take my money. Have you considered what it would be like to be a watch? E itchish. Be a watch. E itchish. 
that is very that is an extremely deep cut <laughs> oh my god I mean at least you spelled it correctly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're two mana away from just casting this. I'm really tempted to just steal this guy because they have two cards. And maybe he just gets there, you know? I'll wait for the treachery before my shield red comes down. Well, you don't have much you don't have much longer to wait, so you know. Now you can play Shieldred. I mean what what, what is my option to just take four every turn until I find something? Like, not ideal. Sure. This is actually great. Take either one of these dudes. Oh, you may choose an on land. Okay, so they don't actually have to take anything. <clears throat> oh, they took triplicate titan. That's interesting. I guess we're getting a little too close to, to comfort here. Give me a fetch land. Oh, we get Horizon Canopy back, so that's pretty good. Green. <clears throat> we have enough, right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, an Ami. Save the Ami for your mommy. You got it. Um, so what, we got one, two. Oh, Affinity, what up? <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six. Like, I kind of just want to play Draug a Tree Speaker, but if they have... I'm worried they have Fire Covenant and they're just going to take six and kill my board here, so. But then I guess they would have just left Bone Crusher alive and killed that too. I don't know. I'm very confused. There's the Shield Red. I mean, we have a lot of power on board. <clears throat> Let's hit that Arid Mesa, you know? Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that the juiciest of juice? I think we're I think we're doing well with that. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We cannot do both. This feels more important. Get fractured. Hey, powerful, did powerful cards, yeah. I'm like, you too. Like, your deck is pretty good. <clears throat> Mind twist, bunch of removal, little crazy dudes. Um, all right. So, I mean, we see damnation. Do we just bring in like Elspeth? Like, as a like, Consistent way to <clears throat> put the heat on. I mean, I would love to have Flash in hand when I have World Spine and Triple Get Titan. That would be really nice, I think. I'm tempted to cut Tinker and bring in Elspeth. Just as like a repeatable creature. Tinker only has Triple Get Titan, and if we draw one without the other, it's bad. But if we draw Tinker without Titan. Uh, it's really good. They have so much removal, dude. I hope you don't draw Flash this game. I said I hope the opposite. 
<laughs> At least we're having a good time here. All right, so... I mean, Knight of Autumn is kind of weak. They don't have that many artifacts or enchantments. Although it's nice to just gain four, I guess. Goals for the two one. What's the two one? Oh, Knight of Autumn. I mean, we already have to make a cut. I already I put Elspeth in. We're at forty two cards. I'm looking for a cut. Plus, I I don't think we want another like five drop. <clears throat> Let's take Arbor Elf out. Actually, he's making a good point about the the creatures. I don't want to bring in these guys. We're going to have 16 lands, Mox Ruby, 2 Talisman, and Coalition Relic. I think that feels a little better. Alright, let's do it. Uh, Golos and Academy is fine, but our Academy is not, like, we're not a super strong Academy deck. We only have, like, 5 artifacts. I mean, our academy is basically making like an average of two mana, I would say. All right, come on. Tinker with an artifact and no triplicate titan in hand or flash. Okay, well. It's keepable, I think. Because <laughs> I'm definitely real. We'll see AI Affinity. If that is your real name. Oh god, they're going to five again. Yikes. I mean, I don't know. Like, Coalition Relic into Garrick. We have a flash target. We can easily play Urza after we play Coalition Relic the next turn with double blue. Like, I don't, I don't think it's actually that bad. That's decent. I might just get a breeding pool. We're going to hold it for now, though. Okay, you got it. Mox Ruby. An Omnath. <clears throat> okay. Like, if they play shoulder here, it's actually very good. Oh, they played nothing. Let's get Temple Garden. Oh, Titania. Getting back Arid Mesa seems good. All right. Oh, if they have a Braid, that's going to be brutal. But I guess we still get to play Garrick. And then we still get to follow up with Titania, so... Hmm... Yep, there it is. Oh, Colagon's command. <laughs> also very good. Um, <clears throat> I think we're pitching Urza. World Spine Worm is still great if we manage to get Flash and one blue, whereas, like, now we don't have any blue, so. Oh, God, what is this? <laughs> they leave the fucking world spine worm in hand. Wonderful. <laughs> oh. Hot stuff. Hot stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna pass. There's no no real reason to play a Zurin orb here. Great. I mean, I'm still discarding Zurin orb. I think the 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 potential of World Spine Worm here is game winning. Whereas Zoranorb doesn't do much with Titania in the graveyard, so. 
All right. We are on the flash plan. One in 27. Wow. I, I did not think we were going to lose this game after they mulled to five and Oh, wow, that's a good draw. And we have the perfect mana for it. That's satisfying. That's pretty good. That's going to be good one day. All right. Let's build a small army, I guess. Oof. Every time they play land, I'm like, okay, good for us. I mean, I'm sitting here with a world spine worm, so... Yeah, pretty brutal. Get in there, these two guys. I mean, that's magic, right? Like, he mind-twisted for five and then just hit a bunch of lands, so. I mean, Fire Covenant actually not terrible, right? Just take out my whole team. That's a shield. It's a good one. We have Council's Judgment, though, so. Interesting. Well, we're definitely Council's Judgmenting the Shieldred. I will choose you. Oh, Night of Autumn. I honestly think I just want the land here. Like, killing this doesn't do anything. Four life is not super relevant at this point. Drawing a card is probably better than Night of Autumn. Plus, we can't cast it till next turn anyway, so... Oh yeah, that's brutal. Jeez, it's just like... Non-stop lands. Hmm. That was the last of them. Another island. Flash. I really just want Flash for the fun of it, you know? So one, two, three, four. Keep one back. Doesn't really change the clock. Yep. All right. Well, this was a pretty anticlimactic game, but... Magic is cool sometimes. Yeah. That was a bummer. All right, round three. I'm surprised we're 2-0, but, I mean, cube is cube, man. Anything can happen. <laughs> yeah, if we, yeah, if we kill the talisman, then they're, like, one card closer to getting Croxa back. Dude, the, the amount of times I've been sitting there with both Triplicate Titan and or Worm Spine, World Spine Worm, is kind of comical. Keep this. Oh, 
Oh yeah. I gotta play I guess I gotta play the forest first. I can't just uh attempt to cast tree speaker, then tap the forest in my hand. That doesn't really that doesn't work as well. I'm not actually sure I put flash in the deck because out of five games so far, this is six. We have yet to draw a flash. That's a tinker. Oh, I like I love I love these portal lands. Is this John Avon? Of course it is. Phenomenal. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Can't really do much here. I could just plus this or I could... I'm going to attack for one. We're just attacking for one. One point could matter. The amount of times one damage matters over the amount of times being on level two matters is probably high. Yeah, me and John Avon have that in common. We both just draw lands. Only his his drawing lands are far more profitable than my drawing lands. Should we go get an Omnath? An Omnom Nomnath? What else can we get? Uh Augravonum, Ramunap. No, let's go get an Omnath. That feels that feels correct. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the old Tinker Green Sun Zenith deck. It's a classic. You wouldn't get it. Oh, God, what is this? Fracture Identity? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? <sighs> Why would you not be? One, two, three, four, five, six... We can just stow away count. Oh, we can't even counsel's judgment because we actually only only have one white here. That's unfortunate. You're now looking at we have no artifacts. This makes pests, not artifacts. So really we're doing well. No artifact, no second white. We could just play Titania, but we don't get anything back, and we have no way to sack land, so that's not great either. Yep, I think we're just playing Suspicious Stowaway and passing. Not exciting, but what can you do? Yeah. Yep, cool. Our little doggies are at the groomer today. They're getting their little... <sighs> of course you mind twist off of Birds of Paradise, Sylvan Caryatid, Island Forest, Savannah. I, I feel like I'm just not being greedy enough with my decks. I'm actually just playing cards that um, I can cast. And I feel like my opponents are just playing whatever bullshit they can they can draft. And then, then they get to just destroy my hands with mind twists or... <laughs> like. Oh, good times. Yep, fantastic. Look, it's a talisman. That would have been great with both Council's Judgment and Tinker. Yep. Fantastic. I guess we'll get rid of Esca Excavator because it doesn't do anything here. Hmm, boy. Always, always a pleasure, Magic Online. Always a pleasure. <laughs> See you later, suspicious stowaway. I almost had a way to loot loot cards in my deck after you mind twisted my hand, but heaven fucking forbid. Cool. That'll do it. That won't die immediately, I'm sure. Still no flash in six games. Still have four cards in hand. Must be nice. Hmm, boy. Ah, oh, yes, if I try them, because... 
Why wouldn't you have all five colors in your deck? Like, am I just not being greedy enough? I keep thinking that, like, maybe I should just play cards that... Like, my, my level of greed is, like, putting an Omnath in the deck when I have, uh... Mox Ruby, um... And Green Sun Zenith and Coalition Relic. I guess I'm just being... Ridiculous, though. Actually... I just, if I double block here, they just get to kill Tree Speaker anyway, so... This is fine. Oh! <laughs> okay. Good. Good lord. Oh, thank God it resolved. Mm, okay, well. <laughs> uh, untap these two, I guess. Yep. Well, that's an Omnath. How long do we think it'll last? Negative one turns? Well, it survived an untap, so that's good. Flash, please. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, untap two, six, seven, eight, nine. What do we just block? Like, I feel like it's important to keep Garrick alive for that reason. Yeah. I mean, if we make a beast, they just get to shoot it with Ren and Six, and that sucks. So, ugh. So, so close yet so far. I mean, we're definitely blocking here. Sure. What do they have? They have five cards and nothing to play? I don't understand what's going on. Oh, you're just Hester Minding. I guess you also have Splinter Twin. They love sticking Splinter Twin in their decks, man. It's wild. Well, there is a land. And now Garrick dies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Guess we'll make a beast, because they can kill Garrick anyway, so I might as well have a creature in play. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> Oh, yes. Omnath, Mind Twist, Fractured Identity, Double Red, Renin Six, Pest of Beautiful. Just a, just a beautiful pile of cards you have. Love it. I'm loving losing to these, these constant decks that are just splashing Splinter Twin off of the horrendous mana bases. It's, it's actually fantastic. Yeah. I don't, I don't get it either. Ugh, God. I, I feel like Prismatic Prismatic ending should probably just be in the deck. Unbelievable. Like the greed here is just absolutely unfathomable.
fashionably late to the party. But that's okay, because we can still accelerate you. All right. Well, we do have Fractured next turn now. Ah, oh, yes, Blooming Marsh to go with Copper Line Gorge. And a Ragavan. Let's not forget Ragavan. <laughs> oh, Lord. I guess we just take two. I hate letting Ragavan connect, but I really don't want to lose a tree speaker. Sure, you get a Garrick. And of course I draw planes. Wonderful. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to keep pushing Ragavan through and we just have no real great answer for it. Wish that was an instant. Yeah, I'm just going to keep this up. Ragavan again? Sure. And yeah, now we're just blocking. Like, enough is enough. I can't just keep taking two and giving them treasures every turn and ripping cards off the top of my library. That I can, that I can do. Unless they draw land fracture identity. There's land and fracture identity. <laughs> Phenomenal. Cool. Must be nice. I personally don't know, but I, I assume it has to be nice. Wonderful. I want to live in a world where I can draw one land, play Titania, get Horizon Canopy back, and then Zuranorb all my lands. I mean, I'm sure they're going to activate Golos here. And then I imagine they're going to hit, like, Omnath and then two other good spells.
sure. I have no permanence, but that that seems logical. Land on top? Of course not. That would have been too good. I guess they're going to have to just target this, because you don't want me to have a single permanent in play for longer than a turn, right? So, yeah, just get rid of that now. <sighs> I'll name Mind Twist, and then I'll hit it. They named Kiki Jiki. And they... Did they hit it? Of course they did. <laughs> Fucking God. Sometimes I wonder why people play magic instead of just playing the lottery every week. God, you could be so rich right now. Just think about it. Think about all the money you could have. Yep. Sure. Well, probably just double blocking here because I don't really feel like going to three or four, really. Oh, boy. Also, Jace the Mind Sculptor got a nice double blue card here. Named Sylvan Carry added, and they hit again. They hit, they, they literally hit both times. I've never seen someone hit twice with Tamiyo. Like, that's absolutely incredible to me. Oh, yeah, they just return Pestermite and win. Yep, cool. Yeah, I forgot about that part of Tamiyo. <laughs> I guess, I guess, I don't know. Like, yeah, all right. Anyway, 2-1, what are you going to do? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.